Good morning. Today we're going to do counting by tens. So this is our hundreds chart and we're going to start at the number 10 and then count forward by 10. So you can count with me. So we're going to highlight as we count forward by tens. So we're going to say 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, and 100. Good job. So notice that in our hundreds charts, as you go down a row, it counts up by tens. So it's a good tool to have when you want to count by tens because you can just look down the row. So on this one, we're gonna start at number three, and then we're gonna count by 10. So 10, three, 13, 23, 33, 43, 53, 63, 73, 83, 93, 103, and 113. Excellent job. So here you would just write the next number. So you would have write 43, 53, and so on. Good job. Now we're not gonna use our hundreds chart, but it follows the same method. So on this one, we're gonna write the numbers in. So we're gonna start at 17. So the next number would be 27. And then our next number would be 37. Excellent job. I don't know why I'm having such a hard time typing the numbers in here. And then our next number would be, what is our next number? 47. Excellent. And then our next number is 57 and then our next number is 67 and then our next number is 77 and then our next number is 87 and then our last number would be 97 excellent job so notice that the number that's changing is our tens and we're going up by 10. So see the one went up to two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. But the ones stay the same. So the ones always stay the same. So let's try another problem. We're gonna start at one this time and then count up. So we're going to count by tens. So if we start at one, then our next number is 11. And then our next number would be 21. Because our ones stay the same. And then our next number would be 31. Trying to keep these commas lined up. And then our next number would be 41. You know the next number? Excellent, 51. Our next one, 61. Next number, 71. And then our last number for this one would be 81. This one may seem a little tricky because you're thinking, well, why do we have one one? Well, technically on one, our tens is zero. So it went from zero up to one 10 and then two tens and then three tens. 
So don't get tricked by that. Nice job. And then our last problem, 39, so we're gonna count up by tens. What's our next number? Right, 49. And then our next number is, I'm just gonna clear all of these ones. Forty-nine. Then our next number is fifty-nine. Then our next number would be sixty-nine. Then seventy-nine. Eighty-nine. Do you know the next one? Nice. Ninety-nine. And this may be a little tricky. What's our next number? Do you know it? Nice. One hundred and nine and then 119, because we're going up by 10. So we were from three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11. And our ones always stay the same because we're only going up by the tens. So it's good to have your hundreds charts available. And we can even try this one where it's like a puzzle, where it's like a puzzle. So what would go in this box? What comes after six, do you know? Right, seven. So we'd put a seven here. I don't know what happened to that seven, but I'll just write it then. This would be a seven. And then if we added 10 more to that, it would be 17. And then add 10 more to that, it would be 27. I'm not that good with this pen. So what comes before 54? Nice, 53. So we'd write 53. And 10 more than 53 would be 63. And then 10 more from there would be 73. Because the tens place goes up and the ones stay the same. Nice job. And then we're gonna practice this one. So if we're counting by tens, what would our missing numbers be? Three, 13, 23, what would our next number be? Right, 33, so we have two options. So then is it 33, 34, or would it be 33, 43? Right, it's 43 because we're counting by tens. So don't get confused and count by ones then. We're gonna still count by tens. So it'd be 33, 43. Well, I hope you enjoyed this lesson. Um, I'll post some charts for you guys to fill in to practice counting up by tens and filling in the chart. And then you can keep the chart and reference that as a tool for you if you need to do counting on and by tens when we actually just have a list of numbers like these numbers here. All right, have a good day.